morning friends and welcome to the class of mathematics so in our previous lecture we are solving the linear equation by various method like elimination substitution graphical method and cramer's rule now in this lecture we are going to solve some application of simultaneous equation and some equation which are not look like linear one we can convert to linear equation and we are going to solve it so look at this equation here is 2 by x minus 3 by y is equal to 15 and 8 by x plus 5 by y is equal to 77 here is 2 by x means 2 into x raised to minus 1 so x raised to minus 1 is not linear one so this is not linear equation at present now we can convert this equation in the form of linear one so how to convert it so 2x means 2 into 1 by x so i just place 1 by x as a any other variable you may like you take any variable so i just put 1 by x as a and 1 by y as b so in place of 1 by x i put a in place of 1 by y i put b so this equation become 2a minus 3b is equal to 15 this is equation 1 so that equation 8 by x means 8a plus 5 by y means 5ub is equal to 77 So I just solve this linear equation by method of elimination. Now I just eliminate a. Here is coefficient is two. Here is coefficient is eight. I make this as a. So I must multiply equation one by four to make it eight a. So four into two a that is eight a minus four into three b that is twelve b. Four into fifteen into four that is sixty. This is new equation. But second equation same eight a. Plus five ub is equal to seventy seven. I just subtract equation number two from three, so it is subtract. When I subtract it, I just change the sign of equation this this equation. So eight a having plus sign, it goes to minus. Five ub having plus sign, it goes to minus. Seventy seven having plus sign, it goes to minus. Eight a minus eight a get cancelled. That means you are eliminating a. So minus twelve b minus five ub minus seventeen b. Is equal to 60 minus 77 minus 17. So minus 17 b is equal to minus 17. So b is equal to minus 17 upon minus 17. Numerator minus denominator minus. It get plus 17 by 17. You get one. So I just put the value of b in equation number one. Any one of the equation that you may like. So I just take equation one. So what is equation one? 2a minus 3b is equal to 15. I just put b is equal to one, so two a remain as it is minus three into one is equal to fifteen, so two a <coughs> minus three is equal to fifteen, so two a minus three when I change the sign it become plus one, so fifteen plus three, so two a is equal to eighteen, a is equal to eighteen by two that is nine. So you get a is equal to nine and b is equal to one, but our equation is in the form of x and y. So I just re-substitute the value. So a is equal to one by x. What is value of a? Nine. So x become one by nine, and b is equal to one by y. That is one. Therefore y becomes one. So our solution is x y is equal to one by nine and one. Now. I just write the word problem here. So word problem, we just read it and convert in the form of algebraic one. So I just read the word problem. The sum of father age and twice age of his son is seventy. If we double the age of father and add to the age of son, the sum becomes ninety-five. Find their present age. So I just break the problem partially. I read that problem and i just convert in one equation again for second one i just make it the same procedure now look here this for my first equation is the sum of father's age and twice the age of his son is 70 so i just make equation here now i just assume that present age of father is f you can take any variable as you like And present age of son is y year, uh, yes year. Okay, I just stand for yes son. So my first equation become 
the sum of father age father age is here and twice age of son twice means yes make it twice that is two years sum their addition is equal to 20 this is very simple one you can break it and solve the problem okay now second equation make from this line if we double the age of father what is father present age here yeah. double it to f and add to the age of son plus yes is equal to 95 this is equal equation now again i just solve it by method of elimination so here is the coefficient of f is 2 here is the coefficient of f is s yes. so i just multiply equation 1 by 2 to make the same coefficient of f so i just multiply it 2 into f that is 2f plus 2 into 2s that is 4s is equal to 70 into 2 that is 140 so this is equation number 3 second equation become as it is 2f plus s is equal to 95 so i just subtract equation number 2 from 3 so i just subtract when i subtract it i change all the sign of equation number 2 2f having plus it become minus s having plus it become minus 95 having plus it become minus so 2f minus 2f get cancel 4s minus s that is 3s and 140 minus 95 that is 45 so 3s is equal to 45 so s is equal to 45 by 3 because that 3 is a multiplication i just change the side it goes to division so 45 by 3 is 15 so put the value of s is equal to 15 in any, any one of the equation so put s in equation number 1 so what is equation 1 f plus 2s is equal to 70 so f plus 2 into what is s here is 50 is equal to 70 so f plus 30 15 into 2 30 is equal to 70 so f is equal to 17 minus 30 that is 40 so i just write present age of father it is 40 year and present age of son it is 15 year so age of father is 40 and age of son is 15 now we can tally whether our answer is right or wrong what is age of father 40 what is age of son 15 now put the value here father f is 40 2 son 2 into s yes, that is 2 into 15 30 so 40 plus 30 70 left hand side is equal to right hand side so it is right one okay now for practice we are taking another problem another word problem i just read it the sum of two digit number and the number obtained by interchanging their digit is 143 If the digit at unit place is three more than the digit at tenth place, find the original number. Now, before going to solve this problem, I just recall your knowledge. The number fifty-three. I just expand it. What is the expand form? Fifty plus three. That means here is unit place, three is in unit place, and five is in tenth place. When five, that means five into ten, tenth place. Plus three. This is our expanded form. I just use the same principle to solve this problem. Okay. Now I just assume the unit place number is x and ten place number is y. Okay. So my number become unit place x. When I am taking ten place, I multiply the number by ten. So my original number here is my original number. So it number become ten y plus x. So five into ten. Five is in ten place. Y is in ten place. Ten y plus x. This is my original number. Now I just interchange the digit. What they are writing by interchanging their digit. So after interchanging, the number become ten x plus y. So instead of y x x y. Okay. Now. I just add the. I just having the sum. The sum of number become one forty three. So I just sum ten y plus x plus ten x plus y is equal to one forty three. I just add x and ten x that is eleven x. I just add ten y and y that is eleven y is one forty three. So look at this equation. There is common eleven. So I just divide here is by eleven. 
11, 11. My equation becomes x plus y. 11 get cancelled, 11 get cancelled. Is equal to, so 11 ones are 11, 3 repent, 33, so here is 3. So x plus y is equal to 13. This is my first equation. So my second equation getting from this line, if the digit at unit place, what is digit at unit place? Is x. Is 3 more than digit at 10 place. So 3 more than 3 plus digit at 10 place is y. So that equation becomes x minus y is equal to 3. This is my equation number 3. I just saw this equation. It's very simple one. So x plus y is equal to 13. x minus y is equal to 3. That is doesn't need to change the coefficient because they are already same one. The variable y here is plus here is minus automatically it get cancelled when I add it. So I add, add these two equations. So plus y minus y get cancelled. x plus x 2x. 13 plus 3, 16. So x is equal to 16 by 2, that is 8. I just take the value of x is equal to 8 in any one of the equation. So I just write, put x in equation number 1. So what is equation? x plus y is equal to 13. What is value of x? 8. 8 plus y is equal to 13. So y is equal to 13 minus 8. What is 13 minus 8? It becomes 5. So my number is, my original number is, 10y plus x. So original number is 10y plus x. So 10, y means 5. 10 into 5 plus, what is x? x is 8. So 10 into 5, 50 plus 8. So number become 58. I think you get it. And if you are having any problem or query, you just comment me. I will definitely solve it. Thank you.